Users in NAV can be created uh, with a PowerShell script. That allows a simple command line to actually be able to create a single user or, in the case of an upgrade, uh, allow to create a lot of users. There's also commands that actually allows you to add uh, additional access controls for the users, but just be aware that Easy Security, after the user has been added to the easy security tables uh, will actually be maintained inside easy security so any changes would actually be overridden uh, after the next publish i've created a new user uh, in uh, nav uh, or in uh, windows and the username is sarah in here if i normally want to add this user you go to users uh, you will uh, create a new one this one is a normal nav table and I'll go type in the user in here. I can, if necessary, uh, add some permission sets if I wanted to. But in this case, I now added the user in here to the list. When I get back into Easy Security, I'll use the function to get new logins from live, and it will actually pull in uh, Sarah into the list in here. One thing to be aware of is that the user created in the list of users actually have a unique ID as a primary key. Uh, so creating the same user in two different databases would actually make something that underneath has a different primary key in here. For our application, it don't really make any difference. But I can see now one login was added in here. And Sarah is now in the list. If I need to create a lot of users, there is an option to actually use the PowerShell and I will first need to add another user in here. And I will go ahead and add a new user. And uh, Thomas is now in my list in here. I can then use uh, NAV administration shell in here. And one thing that is important is to actually run this as an administrator in here. If you run it as a normal user, you will not be able to do anything. So you can see there's certain functions uh, about NAV server users in here. One of them up here is actually a new NAV server user. And um, if you want to see the parameters for that, you can actually always, uh, of course, go type help and the command, and it will come up with some examples in here. The one I will be using is actually one that uh, allow me to simply uh, give a Windows login, and it will actually uh, create the user uh, for that Windows uh, login inside NAV in here. I will be using the one with the Windows account in here. So I'll have a new nav server user. I have to, of course, specify my service tier. I want to have my Windows account, and it's a demo backslash Thomas in here. So as I hit enter, it now runs a command, and if I go back to NAV, look at the list of users, I'll see Thomas is now in the list in here. This one can also be scripted, so if you need to create 100 users, uh, it's very easy to do something like that one. So let's add a few more users in here. So I now added uh, Dan and Peter in here. And if I open up uh, Notepad, you can use any text editor to create this script. I'll have the new nav server user. And I can type it manually in here, but that's actually an easier way in here. I can, of course, uh, just go uh, copy this line I already created in here. 
that also prevents typos. So instead of Thomas, uh, I'll add Dan. I'll add a line for Peter. And um, then I'm going to save this one as um, an extension PS1 and uh, then I will be able to actually run it from PowerShell. So I now save this one as create users PS1. And I can simply by typing beginning of the command in here uh, create users PS1. It will now run that uh, script. And if I go look at my list of users in NAV and refresh, I'll see now uh, both uh, Dan and uh, Peter was also added to the list in here. So that makes it a very easy way to create 100 users again based on an upgraded 2009 database, maybe to the latest version of NAV, simply add the users in here um, with a script, and then you can um, easily allow them maybe even to add the initial permissions in there. So a simple command line can actually create uh, a user, and with a script, you can create all the users in a few seconds uh, in that way in here.